Okay, this is a uh, big Mr. Duplessis. Um, so, yeah, you can see uh, both of us take that. You can see all this brother and look at these hands. It's great to have the whole support team watch us do the very last session of the whole fight camp. That's pretty special. You can see him relaxing, especially when his dad arrived. They've been so supportive. Everybody's tired, obviously, a long, long flight. Um, I think they traveled like close to 35 hours, 36 hours in total, but uh, all worth it. Uh, I'll make sure of it. Trickers will make sure of it. He's ready. Seeing it now, like my little brother executing on something that was like a, a speculation and he's made it happen and here we all are South Africans, it's, it's really it's the most extraordinary thing that I've ever seen in my life. The amount of sacrifices that he went through for this, it's, it's awesome, it's absolutely awesome. Hey, remember bro, tomorrow you gotta call me a dude, we can't keep hugging and trying to go dick to dick. No one's gonna wanna watch this fight. Cara, o Flávio Esplodo C tá na reta final ali. Quarta-feira tá muito bem no peso. Fez um camp excelente, sem lesões. E vai ser um show, Salvador. Todo respeito do mundo com a oponente, mas é, a Polena é muito mais completa que ela, muito mais agressiva que ela. Tem mais recursos, até no jogo dela mesmo. Então, vai ser uma vitória, se Deus quiser, bem contundente aí. Eu não sou como as pessoas me conhecem, eu não sou muito de ficar, ai, não me queda, não me queda, né? Se quiser me levar pro chão, a gente vai pro chão, vai virar cobra no chão. Mas eu vou tentar manter a luta em cima, né? Vou tentar nocautear. E aí, se eu não conseguir nocautear, a gente vai se acabar no chão. Vamos fazer jiu-jitsu. Ai, meu Deus! So right now we're getting ready to get a workout in, just, you know, work off all the travel. Finally found my luggage, got my gear, so I'm going to do some productive stuff. Review, get the heart rate up, get some weight off. My crew is here, I'm excited. I feel whole, I feel whole. Raquel is just hungry in general, and now the real driving factor that I've seen as a coach, uh, I've been working with her for so many years, is her daughter. It changes life, it makes you hungrier, you lose a little bit of fear as like a mama lion to go out there and get the job done, uh, knowing you represent you know, your family and your little one now. Nice. I've never seen her this great before. She put effort into every single aspect of fighting. Like she does everything she can do possibly to be the best. When I like um, think about it, you know, I get emotional because to be in her position and have the opportunity to fight for a world title second time, like, I truly believe her hand's gonna be raised. She's gonna fight to her best potential Saturday night. Looks like the champ to me. Good morning. Hi guys. Uh -huh. How are you guys? Good morning. How are you doing? Good. 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 Perfect. You've talked about mental health. Lots of athletes struggle with mental health issues, but a lot of them have like a shame about talking about it publicly. What what made you say, this is the time that I want to bring this up? I was speaking Portuguese because it's very important for me. Uh, eu tive depressão há um tempo atrás. Eu sempre tive, eu, sempre fui, eu sou TDAH, eu sou imperativa, então eu sempre tive que tratar a saúde mental. E foi o ponto, foi assim que eu me curei, foi um ponto que eu falei, não, eu preciso, e eu preciso falar disso, eu preciso ajudar outras pessoas e eu quero ajudar outras pessoas a partir disso. Was fighting something you thought of or was that something that came on later in life? I mean, what did you think you would be doing at this point in your life? Por incrível que pareça, não. Eu entrei na luta, todo mundo sabe que eu era bem gordinha e eu queria emagrecer. Mas por incrível que pareça, eu queria ser psiquiatra. Eu não queria ser. Eu não queria ser. 
mas eu continuei e hoje eu amo fazer isso porque eu sei que é o que muda a minha vida e a vida da minha família e o que vai me levar a realizar o meu sonho, que é ter meu projeto para tirar criança e adolescente da rua. Obrigado. 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 Welcome to the UFC 297 press conference in Toronto. We're kicking off the year with a bang. What's up, Toronto? It's good to be back here. Who's got the first question? This is a question for the champion, Sean. What does it feel like to be a, a hero to the people? Let me tell you, you guys are f***ing awesome, and I cannot wait to see this man to f***ing go to war for you f***ing guys. Dragus likes to fight. You know what that means? We're going to be dick to dick, nipple to nipple in that f***ing range. F***ing fighting, bro. I hope after we're done, that we put on a show for you f***ing guys. Dragus, do you think you can beat him on the feet, or do you have to turn this into a full MMA fight? Anybody who knows fighting knows this fight will be one hell of a fight. Is this fight going the distance? Probably not. Charge has a style of going forward. I'm a guy that goes forward, I don't fight backwards. All my fights are finishes. This is gonna be one hell of a fight and I'm there to be the best in the world and that's why I'm going out there Saturday night. Question for Raquel. When you break down Myra's skill set, does she present anything in the octagon that you haven't seen before? She's tough, right? My thing is, who have you fought? I've been in the UFC for 10 years and in that time, I've spent majority of that in the top 10. Raquel, when you fight, everybody's sleeping. You're sitting here running your mouth talking all this shit, but tell me who you fought. I, I never finish what you want to fight. Because you know when you fight, I'm asleep, everybody's sleeping. Yes, everybody's sleeping. Guess what? My fists are going to do You don't have today. a level. Keep talking. You don't have FC level. Oh, I don't have it? All right, we'll see. Mike, you're the Toronto favorite here. Is there a message you have to the crowd? I'm so proud to be representing us. I can't wait to get to Scotiabank Arena. I grew up going to this arena. I love this city, man. I've made a career out of finishing guys, and I'm going to keep that going on Saturday night. Real talk, though, you guys. Drykus, can I get an agreement? Do the death. Do the death.